Hi, I'm Marna, and I have some hacks and crafts for Monster High today. And my doll is from a garage sale lot that I bought. And we're going to be dressing her, and I have a lot about shoes today. This is the doll from the uh, garage sale haul. I got uh, five dolls in this. Her hair was one big knot. So why it doesn't look great, and I still could do some work on it. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I used the cream rinse on it, that thick cream rinse that comes in a tub. You can see somebody was cutting on it. Um, and I haven't decided what I'm doing about her hair, if anything. She may just stand in the back of my Halloween display. So she needed clothes. Darren 3D printed some little red shoes. So I want to do them red and black, and I've got this fabric that stretches. So I was laying this out, and I, I laid it out funny trying to save fabric and found something. I'd like to make this a tight dress with one seam up the back, one arm covered, and a flare. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that corner, wrap it like I want it, find her feet, and we are going to cut this off about here to a slant so that it's longer in the back. What I will do is still do the tube dress. I will pull this around tight. I will put one seam in tight here. It'll flare out, and then I'll stitch this all the way down, cutting that even when I finish. Then I will either leave that like that, depending on how it lands, but more likely I will bring that point of that fabric around and stitch it right there. We'll see. I love helping beginner crafters come up with ideas that they could actually do. I mean, I, I watch the YouTubes too, and some of these incredible people are making itty bitty tiny corsets for these dolls with little bitty cord. No, that's not me. Um, this one is dedicated to the gals that say, I don't even know how to sew on a button. What we're going to do is so since this doll, I have a lot of Monster Highs. Since this doll is going to be in my Halloween display in the rear, I'm sewing this dress directly on her. Now I'm going to turn her head so that I can get this lined up. We're going to make her a glamorous dress and we're going to sew this tight to her. I call these easy peasy, oh so sleazy dresses. And what I'm going to do is I'm checking the front, I'm pulling this around, I'm going to tuck this, and then I'm just going to put in a few stitches, tucking my knot up underneath. This is, of course, stretch fabric that you can cut and the edges do not fray. As you can see, I'm just stitching this on. And in the front, looks great. In the back, who's gonna see it? And then I'm going to stop right here and knot it off. Okay, here's what we got in the back so far. I have this tucked. That's only, that's as far as I went with the stitches. And when I tuck this, it'll come out. She'll stand like this. Oops, there was my needle. Okay. She will stand like this, and I will tuck this under, and it will show that flare, but not the stitches. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this around, and I'm going to stitch that right there. I'm going to knot this twice, if not three times, because I want that to hold well. 
Um, and I will show you what her dress looks like. Let me get this cut and turned around. And if you tuck that under a little bit, you won't see that edge at all. I kind of frayed it fooling around with the fabric. Normally it wouldn't be like that. Take a couple little snips here. And in a stand in the back of my display, her dress is going to flare out. If I can get it tucked, right? It's going to flare out and be cute enough. And now she needs shoes. Darren, my cameraman, my husband, my lover, my friend, um, has a 3D machine. If anyone in your family or your friends is thinking about buying a 3D printer, tell them yes, encourage them, buy them filament, be nice to them. The, um, we have made amazing things with the 3D printer. Okay, she needs shoes. So Darren printed these monster hot, look at that, you did this? Or was this a... It's a Thingiverse. Okay, on Thingiverse, they have the model or pattern for this. Isn't that cute? Monster high, high heels. And Darren printed these colors. We only printed one red because it was the first pair we did and we didn't know we could do more than one at once and wanted to try it. What you can do is, well, all kinds of things. Um, you can use a pipe cleaner or ribbon. You could ballet style them, tying that uh, ribbon up the leg. You know what I'm saying, cr crisscross. That would really be cute. Corset style on uh, Monster High. You could use yarn. You could use tape. And what we're going to do is a couple shoes to show you how it goes. And I'm going to choose right now this green pair with a green um, pipe cleaner and I am going to need my doll to see how big of a piece to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this around the front of her foot up underneath. You know I think it needs to go back here. Yeah. I'm going to cut that Oh, I used my good scissors. And then I am going to hot glue that. And I thought it was best uh, behind the sole of the shoe rather than on the bottom. You can do it any way you want. Okay. Here's her little green stilettos with, uh -oh, with pipe cleaner. I think they're cute. I think they're real cute. But let's try something else. I'm tired of dolls not having shoes, losing shoes. You buy them used and they're barefoot. So what is this? Electrical tape. I've done this before. I think it works well, and we're going to try it with these high heels. Um, I'm just going to cut a piece about this long. Cut it off. Well, of course, I get crappy scissors. And I'm just going to cut it to the width I think will look good. Oh, crappy scissors. Because I use them on wire and everything else, and then I wonder... Why don't those work? Oh no, my scissors are messed up. And I'm gonna put that shoe on her foot. I'm gonna put the strap across her foot. And then I'm going to wrap that down around the bottom. 
and come from this direction and do the same. Uh-oh, need to be back a little further. But there she is in her black and red shoes. And here she is. I've got her dress pulled up so you can see her little shoes in the stand. She even has a little motion to her feet. Pull her dress down and pull it around. And there you go. The permanent outfit on a Monster High doll that was cheap enough and going to be trash, really. I came to the garage sale late, so I don't know what would have happened to these dolls. I have some exciting news for you subscribers. I wanted to show you, you could also use uh, duct tape. And if I were using duct tape, I would cut this uh, as thick as you wanted it and then wrap that around the, the top. And the exciting news, we have a hidden giveaway in this video. We're doing that now on our channel. You never know when, what video, or what part of the video we're going to give something away. We are giving these four pairs of Monster High shoe soles to a lucky subscriber. I need to verify that you are a subscriber. Um, leave a like and a comment and we will randomly choose one subscriber and mail these shoes to them. So this is the last of the update of the, or what I had done to the dolls from the um, garage sale lot that I bought. They looked, they were well, well, well past played with <laughs> when I bought them. But I've had a lot of fun fixing them up and making them shoes. And don't forget, these could be yours. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and leave a like.